Hello everyone, I am Bianca from Danceport Life and we're here in Denmark at the Summer Dance Camp and next to me I have Malte Brink Road and Sandra Sorsen. Hello, how are you guys? Very good. good. I'm happy to uh, finally talk with you because I've been following you uh, since a while now and I fell in love with your dancing because it's very... Uh, it's like a breath of fresh air, I would say. That's how I would describe it. And uh, I just wanted to have a little discussion with you. And uh, if we can start our interview with a bit of a journey of how you started dancing and okay. how you started dancing together, how was the first tryout, you know, stuff like that. <laughs> it's many years ago now. Yeah. So we started actually dating as a couple before we started dancing together. And we agreed that we should not dance together because yeah. it didn't work out. So we had a tryout before okay. and then we had separate partners. Yeah. And that didn't work out. So they mm -hmm. actually stopped both mm. our partners, stopped dancing. And okay. then at this camp, eight years ago, we oh, wow. made, I made three days before because she had a tryout in Spain. Yes. So I made at home three days before the camp, all five choreographies. And then we met on this camp and We it was better than ever. Yeah, wow, we that, together. that's a very romantic story. I love it. <laughs> But what what made you decide though to start dan actual start dancing together? Teachers, teachers on this camp. They mm. the teachers, the international teachers, ask how long we dance together, and then of course Peter said, "But they don't." Mm -hmm. So they said, "I think they better." Yeah. So after that we started, and one week after we did the first competition. And how um, how long have you been dating before uh, starting Ooh. dancing together? Two years. Two years before we started, so it's mm. it's a long time now. So maybe maybe because uh, the relationship between you uh, grew a lot in two years, so maybe that's why uh, the partnership was. Uh, I good. I think it was the um, the dancing actually because. Mm. Uh, When we started dating, Sandra was doing more ballroom and I was doing more Latin. Mm. So uh, it didn't work out. Yeah. And then she decided to do only Latin. Yes. And I had a, another partner as well. And our personalities just uh, grew. So, yeah. yeah. I think we also with age and experience, we exactly. just fit a better together. Yeah. And uh, talking about being a couple and, and having a partnership as well. How, how do you deal with that? Because uh, you, you told me that you live together as well. And sometimes, uh, how do you make it work? Because sometimes it might be difficult, I, I imagine. I think we're very good at respecting each other's place. Mm. And mm. if we need some quiet moment or whatever we need, we respect each other and mm. we give it whatever yeah, we, we need. We try not to do everything together. So yeah. we practice together. We teach in the same hall, but next to each other. So there we are still together, but we have separate lessons or... I saw before, I was yeah. like, I've seen you teaching and I was like, oh, they're teaching different couples at the same time. And that was, I found that interesting. Yeah. Yeah. And then when we are at home, we're quite good at giving each other space. Mm. So when Sandra is cooking, we're not cooking together. She likes to cook alone. Yeah. So I let her cook and I enjoy that. <laughs> so, <laughs> and I do other things. So mm. we give each other space. So it's not all the time together. It's about balance. Yeah, as well when we travel, that mm. we are not, it's not on holiday all the time when we travel. It's like mm. then we're doing something like work or yeah. I'm watching a movie and she's doing reading a book or whatever. Mm. So it's, we have our mm. private little box mm -hmm. around the head. Mm -hmm. Your bubble. Yeah. yeah. And um, I would like to go a bit uh, with the discussion in an area that I enjoy a lot, uh, quite a lot. Um, What would you say are the three main characteristics of a great dance couple? Oh. Musicality? For sure, musicality, artistry, and... A relationship within the partnership that is not just two people dancing next mm -hmm. to each other, but it's interaction. Yeah. Do you see... Being, being able to share feelings, actually. It can yes. be um, any kind of feeling. It can be serious or it can be romantic. It can be happy. Or I, when I feel I'm good, mm. I am getting more happy and joy feeling mm -hmm. through. Mm. So I'm very inspired from the music. Mm. 
So I get the music into my body and then what my goal is, is to actually uh, present feelings to the audience that they can, yeah. yeah. So if they get happiness or joy out of it, that is, then I succeeded. But what if, um, let's say Sandra feels that piece of music in a different way and you feel it in a different way at the same time, how do you still make it work? It's a communication thing that mm -hmm. I have my right to have my opinion he has that and with that we can communicate if you always think the same thing it can get a little bit boring that's what is interesting with communicating as a dance couple as well as in a conversation we don't have to agree on everything to have a conversation mm -hmm. we can actually disagree as well and that's yeah. quite interesting that conflict mm -hmm. so she can do it her way and I can do it my way and maybe that is better than if we actually did the same way just mm -hmm doing at the same time that's boring yeah 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 i agree <laughs> and uh talking about uh, artistry and how you express musicality in your example um my favorite question is do you think the personality you have in in real life uh influences the way you um create your style of dancing for me a lot mm -hmm. yeah for me in order to get uh, good for me the person I am I have to get my personality across so it's very individual what works mm -hmm. some people it works to be a character or yeah. to be something else or what they have seen get inspiration mm -hmm. somewhere else I do that as well mm -hmm. but I all the time have to be true to myself so that is what works for me is if if I'm trying to be a character it's it gets distant yeah so i really have to connect to people so i have now i look at you yeah so it's not flat yeah it's i'm here yeah yeah, yeah. You for, are. Me, for me that's uh that's what works in in dancing as well mm -hmm. and i i like to uh to entertain actually <laughs> yeah, i i enjoy that <laughs> yeah you can see on the <laughs> dance floor <laughs> And what about you, Sandra? No, I think for sure the personality that you have reflects and the choices you made are made from that personality you have. Mm -hmm. But it's not necessary the personality I have in my private life is what I show. Mm. You can choose with that, but it's chosen from the personality you have. Mm. Mm -hmm. And um, you mentioned about inspiration uh, moments ago. Uh, who inspired you the most so far? It can be a dancer, it can be anything else. Mm, I have more people, okay. actually. I have Franco Formica is a very big inspiration for me. Mm -hmm. And Brian Watson is a huge inspiration. Yeah. Slavik Kriklivi as well, yeah. Sergei Surkov. Mm -hmm. But also Peter is inspiring me mm -hmm. uh, when we practice. So. Uh, Peter is also a big part of that, Peter mm. Stockpro, mm, of, yeah, of course. And Martino and Michelle. Yeah. I remember when I started dancing, that was my wow, because yeah. we practiced together sometimes and they saw them and <laughs> they were amazing. So I actually, in the beginning, copied everything from Martino. Yeah. Because he was just, he was the best in Denmark at the exactly. time. Yeah. And then I found out about Franco Formica and mm. all the rest. And what about you, Sandra? One very important person to mention is Michael Jackson. Every uh, time, yeah. if we have maybe down day or whatever, we'll always put on Michael Jackson music, find a music video, or and like that, we'll they will be saved. Yeah, for Bef sure. That was my idol, the biggest mm -hmm. idol I ever had before I started dancing. I find it very intriguing, and I even wrote an article for our uh, dance blog. Um, is that all the great dancers uh, in our uh, American and Latin in dance sport industry uh, were influenced and are still influenced by Michael Jackson. And I just wanted to ask you, why do you think that is? I think because he's one of the greatest entertainers of the world. It's entertaining, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. He's an artist. Yeah, he, he's a true artist. He was not only a great singer and uh, songwriter, he was also a great entertainer and dancer. Mm -hmm. And he was part of how we dance today is actually very inspired from how he developed dancing yeah so we have people as also uh, a person who inspired me personally 
was Donny Burns, the energy from Donny Burns, he was very inspired from Michael Jackson, yeah, it looked exactly. like from outside. Yeah. So yeah. when I watched him, I just saw the energy and I was amazed from that. Exactly. I, I know, yeah, I, I even uh, put that into the article that Donny was such a, uh, so like a raw inspiration from, uh, from uh, Michael Jackson yeah. and beautiful and translated into Latin American dancing, mm -hmm. which, which is, was great. And um, <clears throat> I would like to switch a bit more now to the, a, a bit of a more technical side of the discussion. Uh, because I'm sure the audience uh, <laughs> would be interested on how you practice, uh, how you manage to um, schedule your program with lessons, with your practice, with other stuff that you do, maybe ballet, maybe stretching, maybe other stuff. Could you please share it a bit with us? Do you want us? to know all of it? <laughs> uh, like a regular <laughs> week. We actually have in our calendar mm. everything is written down. Yeah. So we have, of course, all the lessons when we teach, when we go to gym and do uh, physical exercises, mm -hmm. uh, when we have the group practice as well, but we also have when we eat. Yeah. Because in the past we had very ti uh, difficult time finding uh, slots yeah, time, yeah, yeah, free to time eat, between. so we just didn't eat enough mm. and had no energy, of course. Yeah. Uh, so we, we tried to actually plan everything, so we have small breaks, like half an hour, 45 minutes mm. to go out and prepare food and mm. eat and then we are on again yeah we try to be very organized not to in the past we will go to the studio not knowing when to finish we yeah. just go see how the day goes and then by midnight we would finish and that's not so like with age you need to also take care of your body yeah. so we try to organize everything from week to week some weeks are longer with more practice and some weeks are with less Who's more yeah. organized between you? <laughs> Me. I'm very organized in a few things. <laughs> yeah. He, he hates schedules. Yeah. I love them. So I make them and I tell him what to do. <laughs> it reminds me about school. I had to show up at <laughs> 8 o'clock or 8.30 and then I had that the, like group and then... <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> I just see that piece of paper and it reminds me about school. Oh. I, have, I want to decide myself. <laughs> Oh my God. You, you make me cry, but with love. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, <clears throat> because obviously we're at, at the, the summer dance camp here. And um, do you go to a lot of dance camps throughout the year or? Not so many. No. Usually it's in the beginning of the year and in the summertime. And then the rest of the year, it's maybe one or two days okay. if we have camps. And uh, why why do you think dancers should go to to dance camps to have massive overload of inspiration and information yeah yeah it's what we feel now we have a lot of great teachers here and we of course we would like to work with all of them but mm -hmm. it's only four days and uh, it's a lot of lessons we already have a lot of lessons because we would like to work with the teachers exactly. but it's better to have it here because now they are here but it's actually too much and right now it's it's an overload in the yeah. brain but in a few weeks it will settle down and then we'll have something to work on for a very long time and um how how do you make sure the information will settle down I do write, you write it yeah I write it down. Yeah. Yeah. yeah i, I used yeah. to do that as well yeah. because it I will mix everything up and yeah. not remember what is what and when mm -hmm. is I, and I have to do. He has an elephant brain, so he will be <laughs> fine. Yeah, I remember most of it mm. from actually feelings or inspiration or yeah. Feelings. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. Mm. Nice. I mean, yeah, people learn dif in different ways and uh, is the role of the teacher and the student to find out together how they can work mm -hmm. best something if something is like something I, I really want to remember or pass on when I teach I write it down mm. but uh, many times I don't have to write it down because if it's something that inspires me it's just mm. stuck in my brain mm. so I will think about it anyway what's the thing that uh, you um, you remember it, it, what it's the information that inspired you the most so far in this camp. Oh. 
difficult to choose. <laughs> we have worked in, in our choreography, so <laughs> <laughs> it's not only one thing. Okay. It's, it's yeah. many things. There's not w like one thing sticking out. Yeah. If for me, it would be maybe to lower my leading hand more. Mm -hmm. So the movement is more fluid, but it doesn't really make sense for me to tell you because you have to see it. Mm. So, but it's a few places where I have yeah. to lower the hand, yeah. so, so I can do more body actually. Mm. And for you, Sandra, you I, 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 I couldn't choose. Yeah. It's uh, too too many things. Too many. Yeah, and mm. I'm excited to start working on it it's in a couple of weeks. Yeah, now it sounds a bit technical to lower the hand, but it's actually to create more. <laughs> so <laughs> no, I understand. <laughs> understand because when I used to dance, my teacher was all about connection and hand connection and floor connection, and I can understand yeah. how a, a hand can make a huge difference. Yeah. yeah. And um, I would like to because I obviously Sandra and Malta ha have a practice after this, and I don't want to keep you, uh, but um, I have two more questions for you. Uh, one, the first one would be, if you can go back to your 12-year-old self, knowing what you know today, what would, what piece of advice would you give? When I was 12, I didn't dance. It doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I think that's the thing with life is that uh, you will learn through all your life, yeah. hopefully, yeah. if you want to. So it's, I'm not sure I would be ready to know everything I know today when I was 12, because maybe, I was just not ready. Maybe like a piece of uh, encouragement. Okay, then I start then. You always, think, Malte. Always trust yourself. Yeah. I right. think that's something that most people would probably say, that uh, at yeah. that age, it's difficult. You mm. don't really know. You mm. try different things and you're mm. like, oh, should I, should I not? Mm. But just go with whatever feels good in your stomach. Yeah, yeah. Instinct. Yeah. Mm. yeah well, similar. Mm -hmm. Go for it. Go More, for it. Yeah. I was actually very shy when I was younger. Mm. Yeah. Are you still shy? No. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No, definitely not. Not as shy as back then. For sure not. <laughs> And uh, the last question, I, I always keep this uh, question, the last question, because it always gives the couple a good vibe after they leave. What do you love the most about your dancing partner? That it's difficult because it's actually connected to a feeling as well. Okay. That everything is, uh, everything is working out. It's not crashing together. Mm -hmm. So if I say something, she respects me. It's mm -hmm. not that I'm telling her what to do, but it, she respects who I am mm -hmm. and my, uh, the way I see things. Mm -hmm. He's always positive energy towards anything. And it's not just in dancing, but also in life. Wh whatever comes, he will always take it with a smile and a positive energy. <laughs> Thank you so That's much. Good. You're Thank welcome. You. <laughs> Thank you. And good luck in the practice and at the next competition. And can't wait to see you dance again. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you.